Hey, the average Joe here. You know, I was sent this uh, project in the last couple of days uh, from Eli up in Alaska. It's a steam schematic. You can see that he has some high pressure steam coming in here. He has some condensate pumps. I noticed a flash tank, moisture separator up there, some PRVs, heat exchanger. All these things uh, can be modeled in uh, HVAC solution software. So let me uh, open it up here. He, uh, when he uh, sent that to me, he asked me, uh, he said that he has different buildings and they're being served by a central plant and he wanted to know how to model that in HVAC solution. In other words, I can come to my steam toolbar here and I can go grab a steam boiler Let's grab a Cleaver Brooks here, drop it down on the screen. It's given me a, another uh, item to, for my gas fuel piping schematic. I just added that lately. So I had to kind of uh, impose load over here. As I connect that boiler to the imposed load, and then once I type a load in that particular coil, 800 pounds per hour, you'll see that it gets the pressure 80 pounds was set at the steam boiler and that's what's at that load now. Uh, and I can go in there and change that uh, poundage at any time. I can make it uh, 78 PSI. Now you'll see that over there. What Eli wanted to do is he wanted, he has a bunch of buildings. So let's just come in our heating or buildings, well, maybe a high rise building. And he wants to just click onto that building i'm going to come down here and double left click and it's asking me do you want to terminate this connector i'm going to say yes when you do that i can come in this steam pipe and i can actually set the pressure on what i want it to be so we'll set like 89 psi you'll see now that is at that load there and i can even go in type some load in that building. Okay, I can come up here, my toolbar and start dropping, uh, dropping in like a PRV. But now a PRV took it from 89, reduced the pressure down to 15 uh, coming in. Now you'll notice, and I, I did this on purpose, you'll see there's 89 still set there. So you wanna be sure uh, that you uncheck that little type of pipe with the dashes and the small dashes means I, I've kind of done something special. I've actually set the pressure in that. So if I actually looked, dragged a box across, right clicked with my mouse, and then wanted to look at the pressure in that, you'll see I have 89 PSI, then 89 or this PRV, if you looked at, clicked on, you'll see that it's reduced it from 89 down to 15. And you can make it 40 if you wanted. So that's how uh, Eli can actually come in if his boilers, steam boilers, are not in the building and he just wants to come into his page and then start creating that system schematic that I started off showing you with, you can do that by just uh, clicking on a pipe, setting the pressure. And then once again, if you go into the boiler, uh, you can set the pressure at the boiler. Anyway, hey, just wanted to uh, answer his question and let everybody know how to do that, uh, that type of a project uh, in HVC Solution. Hey, thanks for watching. Send us your questions. Let us uh, create a little video or uh, answer them one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Thank you.